let us discuss what are resemblances and differences in between hydrogen and alkali metal so in this video we are going to discuss about what are the points of similarities and what are the point of differences between hydrogen and alkali metal that means why the hydrogen can be placed along first a group and what are the point of difference okay so the very first point which i am having electronic configuration so just like your alkali metal hydrogen also possesses one electron in its valence shell so just like alkali metal hydrogen also possesses one electron in its valence shell so i have alkali metal like lithium atomic number 3 electronic configuration 2 1 sodium atomic number 11 electronic configuration 2 8 1 potassium atomic number 19 electronic configuration 2 8 8 1 and hydrogen whose atomic number is 1 it has got one electron in its outermost shell so as you can see here lithium sodium potassium has got one electron so hydrogen also possesses one electron in its valence shell hydrogen also possesses one electron in its valence shell second point of similarity or resemblance is a formation of cation it's a formation of cation so just like your alkali metal just like alkali metal hydrogen also shows a tendency to lose electron and forms positively charged ion and forms positively charged ion so let me have sodium whose atomic number is 11 electronic configuration 2 81 now this sodium shows a tendency to lose one electron and attains the stable noble gas configuration and forms a positively charged cation 28 as in sodium ion potassium i am having atomic number 19 electronic configuration 2881 so potassium also shows, shows a tendency to lose one electron and forms k plus 1 ion attains electronic configuration of argon now hydrogen which has got one electron in its outermost shell atomic number 1 electronic configuration also one it shows a tendency to lose electron and gets converted into h plus 1 ion which you call it as a proton as it do not have electron it has got only proton present inside the nucleus so it's called as a proton that's h plus 1 ion so like your alkali metal which is forming positively charged ion by losing electron hydrogen also shows a tendency to lose electron and forms positively charged ion hydrogen also shows a tendency to lose electron and forms positively charged ion now next characteristic about resemblance in a property reaction with non metal third property that is reaction with non metal now generally it's been seen that alkali metal alkali metal reacts with some of the non metal like oxygen sulfur and halogen like fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine and whenever this alkali metal combines with this non metal they form corresponding oxide they form corresponding sulfide and they form corresponding halides so if i take fluorine i'll get fluoride if i take chlorine i'll get chloride and hence forth so hydrogen also on the same ground do combine with this non metallic element so as to form corresponding compound so as to form corresponding compound so let me have a sodium metal combines with oxygen in order to give me sodium oxide so to balance this i'll uh, multiply sodium by 4 and sodium oxide by 2 sodium combines with sulfur a yellow color non metal in order to give me sodium sulfide in order to give me sodium sulfide as an na2s and sodium combines with chlorine in order to give me sodium chloride in order to give me sodium chloride so to multiply here i'll get 
2 NaCl as a product. So just as you see here, sodium combines with oxygen so as to form oxide. Sodium combines with sulfur to give sodium sulfide. Sodium combines with chlorine in order to give sodium chloride. So just like alkali metal, hydrogen also shows a tendency to combine with oxygen so as to give me dihydrogen oxide, which we call it as in water, which we call it as in water. Then hydrogen combines with sulfur in order to give me hydrogen sulfide, which is characterized by rotten egg smell. And hydrogen combines with chlorine in order to give me hydrogen chloride gas, in order to give me hydrogen chloride gas. So as you see here, sodium metal combines with oxygen, sulfur, chlorine as a non-metal. Hydrogen also shows a tendency to combine with oxygen, sulfur and chlorine so as to form corresponding oxide, sulfide and halides. Now, next property which I am having, as they show a tendency to lose electron, so both hydrogen as well as alkali metal, they act as a good reducing agent, they act as a good reducing agent. So these are the points of similarities which we have between hydrogen and alkali metal. These are the similarities present between hydrogen and alkali metal. Now let us focus on another aspect of this. What are the point of differences which are present between hydrogen and alkali metal? So what are the points of differences which are present between hydrogen and alkali metal? So the very first comes that's a physical state. That's a physical state. As everyone knows alkali metals are soft solid. Alkali metals are soft solid. That means they can be cut with the help of knife. That is sharp edge object. You can cut them into pieces very well by using sharp edge objects. Now, but if you look at hydrogen is a gas. So the first point of difference, that's your physical state. All alkali metals are soft solid, whereas hydrogen is a gas. Second part, which I have, that is called as number of shell that is called as number of shells so if you see here alkali metal possesses more than one shell alkali metal possesses more than one shell whereas hydrogen possesses only one shell so alkali metal possesses more than one shell hydrogen possesses one shell so let me have lithium sodium potassium now lithium atomic number three electronic configuration two one Sodium atomic number 11, electronic configuration 2A21. Potassium atomic number 19, electronic configuration 2881. So if you can see here, the number of shell, that is 2. The number of shell in sodium, that is 3. The number of shell in potassium, that is 4. But if I have a hydrogen, Atomic number 1, electronic configuration 1. So I have number of shell only 1. Number of shell only 1. Then the next part comes is the nature of oxide. It's the nature of oxide. So generally, sorry, nature of compound we have. Now generally it's been seen that whenever any alkali metal, when combines with some non-metal, Whenever alkali metal combines with non-metal, the bond form between them is ionic. The bond form between them is ionic. But whenever hydrogen do combine with non-metal, the bond form is covalent. The bond form is covalent. So let me have a simple illustration to this. Sodium, when combines with chlorine, it gives me sodium chloride. It gives me sodium chloride. Now, this sodium chloride, is ionic compound which involves transfer of electron which involves transfer of electron from sodium to chlorine okay so there is an ionic bond present between sodium and chlorine in sodium chloride let, let me take Hydrogen when combines with chlorine, it gives me 2HCl. 
Now here, when hydrogen chloride has been formed, when a hydrogen chloride has been formed, I have covalent bond is present. So HCl is a covalent molecule. Okay. Sharing of electron takes place between hydrogen and chlorine. Okay. So the compound which has been formed by alkali metal with non metal, they are mostly ionic in nature, whereas compound formed by the hydrogen with non metal, they are covalent in nature. Then the next point I'm having that is nature of oxide that is nature of oxide so if you look at here the alkali metal they form an oxide which are basic or alkaline in nature whereas the oxide which has been formed by hydrogen is neutral the oxide which is formed by hydrogen is neutral so let me take an example for that i have sodium when combines with oxygen, it gives me sodium oxide. It gives me sodium oxide. So here I'll multiply this by 2. That will take 4 sodium. Now, as we have studied earlier, sodium oxide is metallic oxide. And metallic oxides are basically basic in nature. So sodium oxide is basic in nature. To be specific here, it will be alkaline in nature because it dissolves in water to produce an alkali so it's an alkaline in nature which will turn your moist red litmus blue apart from that it reacts with acid so as to form salt and water now let me take a hydrogen combines with oxygen in order to give me dihydrogen oxide which is commonly called as water which is commonly called as water and we know water which is a dihydrogen oxide it's neutral in nature it's neutral in nature so these are the points of differences present between hydrogen and alkali metal hope you must have understood this thank you for